So what are we up to? Well, we'll be chasing some sturgeon here this morning, or this afternoon, Andrew. And uh, these are all white sturgeon that are in here, uh, in the, right here in the Willamette River. We're almost right here in downtown Portland. We're very, very close. Very you can close. see downtown behind yep. the camera there. Yep. And here, this is actually one of the, uh, the great fisheries right here in the back, uh, backyard of the Northwest, right here in downtown Portland. Where uh, in this in this river right here we have uh, spring chinook salmon going by right now. Which later on today we may have to go and see if we can't catch us one of those. Currently have the rods out for sturgeon. There's summer steelhead in here, catfish, bass, all kinds of species that uh, that live right here. This is known this area as the Toyota Hole because this is where the big, huge, great ships arrive with all the Toyota vehicles on it. But it's also at about 83 feet, yep, I think, 80, around here. Yep and very good spot for sturgeon, apparently. Is that one? Yep. Got one. Here, Andrew. Me? It's all you, bud. Gee, that's <laughs> creepy. Oh, hang on, this is bigger than that one I got the other day. Of course. Oh, it's look at the Look at the guide you're with. A guide know, extra cool. extraordinaire. So some people like the taste of this and some people don't. Is that the deal? They do, but you know, I, I will tell you, we. Uh, we fish for white sturgeon down in the lower Columbia, what they call the estuary, which yeah. is down near the coast. And those white sturgeon, the lot, they're highly migratory. They come out of the ocean. They've been out in the ocean. They've been eating clams and oysters and shrimp and crab, all that good stuff. And they're extraordinarily good eating. They're excellent eating. I love them. I love them smoked. Smoked? Smoked sturgeon, yeah. And there aren't too many bones in them, apparently. No bones at all. At all? None. All cartilage? They're like, they're like shark. They're all cartilage. So this is why your husband spends all those weekends <laughs> away from home. That's right. Just, just for right a bit of this. Just for the thrill. Just for a bent rod on a piece of wire. <laughs> Can you believe it? There he comes. Okay, nice and slow. Oh, there he is. Easy. Not huge, but better than the other time. Look at that. All right, so. So this is the release this, part. This is the white sturgeon. Yep, and they're all cartilage. They, they, it's how they uh, suck bait up off the bottom or their food up off the bottom. That looks absolutely disgusting. <laughs> and this is how they feel the bait. They're little whiskers, and they're highly sensitive in the nose and the whiskers. They feel it and smell it, and then they suck it in and they crush it. Their tongue, if you feel their tongue right there, their tongue is really hard. It's like the back of your hand, and they'll just crush that bait. So how, that's a very, very small one, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's about a, I don't know, two and a half, about a three foot sturgeon there. And there, there you go. go. There he goes. Gentle on the creature, gentle on our patience to a degree. And when in season, absolutely delumptious to eat. <laughs> So how many species of sturgeon are there? This is white there's, sturgeon. There's 23 different species or subspecies of sturgeon, yeah. The white sturgeon is the most common. It's in, in the Northwest, uh, we have white and green sturgeon. The green sturgeon are more found on the, or on the coast and they're more a saltwater kind of a dwelling fish than the white sturgeon. Although the white sturgeon will go out into the ocean. They migrate out into the ocean and then back in. It's kind of a shame that we're not catching a green one, you know what I mean? The green ones are pretty cool looking. Yeah, yeah they're cool. Yeah, they're green. They're literally green looking. Yeah. Green. Yeah. What could ever go wrong if it's green? <laughs> Nothing. Yes! <laughs> okay, here you go, Andrew. Come here. Jeepers, that looks a little bigger than That's the last one. All right, slightly bigger than the last one, I think. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Golly mackerel! Jeez! <laughs> you sure it's a fish? It's not a whale? Alright, we're getting closer. I mean, at this point, he knows he's done. You know? This he, point, that's. He, something's fish. amiss, he says. Oh, hey. look at this. Look at this! Okay, I'll get the hook out. Barbless hook. We gotta use barbless hooks in here. See that? <clears throat> so it's easy to unhook them just like I just did and, and release them unharmed. In the Willamette, this would be a, a keeper size. 
I'd have to measure him, but he's probably pretty close. It's probably a keeper size. What, what's uh, that there's a way? slot limit, 38, 38 inches on the bottom and on the slot. This fish probably weighs about, oh, I don't know, 12, 14 pounds, 15 pounds, maybe something like that.